are sun corners. The sun corners can be found in South America. Well, like us, they like to live in large groups. Can you imagine a large flock flying? How colorful and noisy that these birds can be. But right here in the bird park, not only are we active in conservation, we get the school children involved as well. The nest box that you can see on stage where the birds flew out of was actually built by students from Greenwich Primary School in conjunction with Irving. Well, San Guayas are smaller species of parrots. The ones that you see earlier, Gaia, the high sea macaw, is the largest parrot species in the world. If you'd like to see more parrot species, do head down to the parrot paradise. If you'd like to see baby parrots, do head down to the breeding and research center. For those our sun corners, everyone. But we need two more volunteers get the attention of Mitra in the middle. And on my left, we have Azar. Well, every morning, the male and female together will leave the tents to look for food to feed their young. And this is what we are going to have for you next. Well, the next few birds coming out are going to fly very low, just above some of your heads. I need your cooperation. Please remain seated. And while the birds are flying, do not try to reach out and touch the bird. This is well, these are Toko Toucans. Now, Toko Toucans are the largest in the Toucan family. Easily recognizable by their huge orange bills. Despite having huge bills, they remain agile and maneuverable in flight. Well, to demonstrate that, one of our trainers, Azra, will toss up one foot each for these two birds to catch. And let's see if they can catch them. Well, these birds are known to catch insects in mid-flight without stopping. Well, let's wait for Azra to go to the center volunteer. First bird, ready? One, two, and up he goes. Great catch. Now for the other bird. Ready? One, two, and off he goes! Another great catch! Well, I have not introduced them to you. This is Mr. Horn. This is Mrs. Horn. A husband and wife team. Well, it's very lucky for us to see these two birds up close and personal, but their numbers in the wild are declining due to deforestation and poaching. We can help them by simply supporting your local conservation efforts. But it's time for them to go back home right now. They are very loyal to one another. If one goes, the other will fall. But guys, time for you to go back home. Home is that way. Mr. Horn, lead the way. Mrs. Horn, you follow. Smart birds, aren't they? Our Toko Toucans, everyone. Now what differentiates parrots from other animals is their ability to copy sounds and they use this as a form of social communication in the wild. Now the Yellowy Amazon is famous for its ability to mimic human sounds and we have one such bird today. So everyone, get your video cameras ready, okay? Now so let's start with something simple first. How about a nice hello? Hello! There you go, very nice and sweet hello. Now can you tell everyone here your name? Hello! Amigo is his name. Alright, now Amigo, how would you like to greet all these nice people? How are you? How are you? A very polite bird indeed. And not only that, Amigo is also very smart. He can count from 1 to 10 first in English. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, The first song is a local Mandarin song entitled Current Life, which means I guess comes to visit. Now, Amigo, can you sing in Mandarin? Current Life, Papa, 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 Good Life, Yeah, Good Originated 
from Indonesia. It's entitled Rasa Saya, which means feelings of love. Hari sekarang nih, oke sih, Rasa Saya. to get one as a pet but do keep in mind that these birds are very hard to keep they require lots of time attention and commitment so do think of all this if you want to get one as a pet the well, next two birds coming up i'm going to show you how lovely hornbills can be vicky our great five hornbill will be joining me from that direction and here she comes well, Vicky, here is a female great five on you, and birds like her can be found in Asia. When females want to nest, they will look for cavities in trees. If you look at that heart, you can see a nest box. Well, that nest box is similar to the nest boxes that we give our hornbills here in the bird park. Well, I'll be walking up this aisle very close to you. That's right over here. I need you all cooperating. Please remain seated. And when the birds are flying, not try to reach out and touch the birds. All right. Well, Vicky, can you check your nest right over on the other side? Off she goes. Your nest box is a little bit to your right. Can you hop to your right a little bit, Vicky? Aha. Okay, what she's doing right now, she's checking the interior of the nest. If she likes it, she will hop right in. Uh, Vicky, you like your nest box? Well, in she goes. Once inside, the female will seal the nest using the glutinated food, soil, and even her own droppings to make the entrance of the nest smaller, just enough for her beak to stick out. Well, Vicky, if you like the nest box, can you seal it now? Very fast. Vicky, are you still in there? Oh, there she is. Well, with that, let's welcome Elfred, everyone. Look out there, and here comes the male with five hundred. Yes. Well, this is Alfred, the male with five hundred. Within this time, the female will be in the nest, while the male will look for food to feed the young and the female itself. Well, Right here in the bird park, we are very successful in breeding oriental pipe organs using less boxes like this. And thanks to your contribution for our conservation fund, we have released some of these birds back into nature reserves here in Singapore and also right here in the bird park. So if you're walking around the park, do keep your eyes open. If you're lucky enough, you get to see some of these birds free flying in the park. Well, Alfred, it's time for you to go back home. Stretch your wings, stretch your wings right, and here he comes. I think he knows where the back home is. All the way on the other side, back home, Alfred. Alfred, everyone. Well, nice music, isn't it? Now comes the time to simply enjoy the bird's flight. If you like to volunteer, raise your hands and get the trainers attention who are coming up right now on my right we are going to have 
Zahira. In the middle, we have Sufi. And on my left, we have Mitra. But look at the strong wings as they fly past you. This helps them swoop through branches and trees in the rainforest of South America. And unfortunately, their wild friends are losing their homes at a rate of one football field per day due to human development. We can help them by simply supporting your local conservation efforts. Well, looks like all the volunteers are ready. Uh, Sufi can give you a little bit higher for the group center. Thank you very much. Everyone, wait. For those of you who are not holding on to the hoops, please remain seated. Are you ready, sir? Uh, thank you very much. Stay where you are, sir. Ready? And on goes to Tina. The lady, yes, please sit down. Thank you very much. On goes to Tina. On goes to Vega. Powerful wing flaps, long tail, and sharp eyesight. This allows. something in that yellow bag. Okay, let's look what we have in that yellow bag. Wow. A very small hook. Very sure Vega can fly through that hook. He's very sure. But Macross has streamlined bodies and this allows them to fly through dense vegetation in the rainforest of South America to escape the potential dangers and predators. Well, looks like everyone is ready. Last instructions to the center monitor. Everyone, silence please. Vega here needs to concentrate. Ready, Vega? Up close. Yes! First time try. No doubt about that. Well, round of applause for Vega, everyone. Thank you. Time for you to go back home. Back to the Speed can be very powerful in breaking hard nuts, but when required, they can be very gentle too. To demonstrate it, I need a volunteer who is not afraid of birds. Yes, you may, you're very fast. Can you stand on your bench? You're not afraid of the birds, alright? Okay, can you stand on your bench? Thank you very much. Okay, what you have to do is just put up your right hand. Open your palm, facing skywards. Okay, I'm not going to send this support up to you. A bird will. Once you place this coupon up on your palm, what you have to do is just grab hold. Okay? Do not look stressed and smile. That's what I'm saying. Here she is. Lady over there. Can you pass this coupon to her? Good, good, Sassy. Place it down. Fly back down to me. Thank you very much, ma'am. Can you check that coupon when it's still in one piece? Great. Well, that coupon entitles you to a free cold ring. Up at the terrace kiosk, a couple big walks away from here. Who's happy here? Thank you very much. One more volunteer. Now I see a lot more hands. Great. Okay, listen, nothing to give away now. Now I need a volunteer who can show me money. A two Singapore dollar note will do. Once I say money, all the hands go down. Yes, ma'am. How much is that? Good. I look for two dollars, you give me ten. Can you stand on your bench? Can you stand on your bench, please? Yeah, that's in front of the bench in front of you, will do. Thank you very much. Okay, can you fold the money into half? And into another half. Fold it in between your thumb and your index finger. Money facing styles. Okay, great. Whatever happens, don't move. But don't forget to smile. Sassy, see that lady? He got money. What do you do when you see money, Sassy? Take the money. Release the money, man. You fly back down to me. Man, don't move. Look, where your money goes. Into my pocket. Now, put your hands down. Keep on smiling and sit down. One more volunteer. I have 10. How about $50 this time? 
I was just kidding. We are doing that for a little bit of fun. But if you like to help the animals right here in the bird park or in Singapore, do come down at the end of the show and drop in any amount into a participating fund in this box right here. And in return, Sassy's postcard is yours. A very popular bird here in the bird park. Well, for those of you who like to contribute but cannot come down, there is a contribution box right up there in the form of a pangolin. Do drop in your contribution to up there too. Thank you very much. Ah uh, man, we need to return the money. We can't keep the money. Can you please stand up again once more? Right, this time, put up your left hand. Great. Open your palm. Once the bird place the money on your palm, grab hold of it. If not, she's coming back with the money. Sassy, are you ready to return it? Okay, here, we got it. I've got the money here. We can't keep this. Then we return this to the lady out there. Generous lady. See that lady? Off you go. Place the money down, says it. Grab hold of the money, man. You fly back down to me. Thank you very much, man. A round of applause for our sporting volunteer right out there. Well, Sassy has done very well. It's time for us to go back home. Back to Elite. And goes for the grand finale. We're gonna have lots of birds right here on stage. So let's get started. First man from Africa, the great white pelicans. The second pair from India, spot bill pelicans. Next from Eastern Europe, we have five Dalmatian pelicans. Come on, guys. Yeah, they are. With their long, sexy legs, let's welcome our greater flamingo. And last but not least, let's welcome the colorful macaws from South American America, coming from up there and there. We are going to have our photography session with another group of flamingos happening right here on stage.